Hey everybody and welcome back to the Moto One US channel where I'm here in Munich, Germany, one day before the IAA Mobility Conference at a Mercedes-Benz event looking at some very, very cool concept cars, including this one behind me. It's an all-electric G-Wagon concept. They're calling it the EQG. Let's take our first look. That's right. This is the G-Class you know and love completely electric. It's a concept car right now, but this thing is production intent. We could see it as soon as the next few years. How cool is that? Look at all the lights on this car. It's actually lifted just slightly above the ground because I have it on a turntable as part of the show. There's two main things to talk about here. One is the design, two is the powertrain. They've actually talked a little bit about uh, what is underneath this thing without going into too many specifics. But let's start with the design because we can draw a clear connection to the gas-powered G-Wagon with some obvious touches that are exclusive to the EQG. Look at the grill. These, <laughs> this is a screen. These little squares are right behind a very, very prominent light-up badge. We have pretty much, as far as I can tell, the same circular headlights that are on uh, the production G-Class right now. It's the same, but different, right? I mean, I love that you could definitely tell what this is at first glance, but they went out of their way to change a few things. The front face is different. I like the two-tone as well. That's sort of a thing we see on a lot of Maybach vehicles, like the one up there. Um, but you know what? The G-Wagon, not, not, not too bad. What else is new? This is all light up. <laughs> the entire line runs the entire length of the car. Check that out. All super light up, very futuristic looking. 22 inch, sort of monoblock looking wheels. Uh, definitely a new design, but at the same time, a bit familiar from what we've seen before. And if you look over here, these new circles uh, that are on the side mirrors. And then up top, we have this light bar, which I'm pretty sure will not make production. I don't think that's legal in the States, but looks cool nevertheless. So let's see the interior here real quick. I'm sorry we're shooting through a window. It's not unlocked for us to get inside of. One thing that's worth noting is a lot of the Mercedes electric cars so far have had this giant hyper screen, that big piece of glass that runs across the dash. This does not. This has the same twin, I think they're 12-ish inch uh, displays that the standard G-Wagon has that we've seen. Uh, and it actually has the command scrolly wheel, which makes me think that this is basically just an already proven G-Wagon that they've shoved some batteries in. How cool is that? You can see more of me than you can of the back seat, and I think that's by design. It's just a bit different on the interior, but overall very much a normal G-Class. And that's actually a perfect transition to me talking about the way this thing will drive. Yes, there are batteries underneath, but there are some really prominent similarities uh, to the gas-powered G-Wagon. This will have a two-speed transmission. So you'll have effectively low range that you can use when off-roading. This will have four electric motors, one at each wheel, which means you don't need locking diffs. You can just use uh, one motor individually and it will vector the torque appropriately. Uh, what that means is this will be an absolute monster off-road. They didn't even think about mentioning horsepower figures, range, anything like that. But you can just assume with that kit, it's gonna work. Uh, live axle at the back, independent suspension at the front, just like uh, we had with the current G-Wagon. One last sort of Easter egg thing that I forgot to mention that I think is very cool. Normal G-Wagon, we're used to seeing the spare tire on the back, right? Super iconic. If you look here, it's actually more of a square than it is a circle, and you think, well, a tire is not going to fit in there. You're right. It's not for a tire. This is actually for the charge cord for the car. So we can't open it, but you basically just Put your hand in there, open it up, and that's where you store all your charging kit, which I think is pretty rad. Other than that, there's a giant G, the letter that's on top of the roof, which is pretty cool, but it's difficult to see from where we're at right now. I wish I knew more, but I'll say this is a very cool first taste of what could definitely be an iconic car like the G-Wagon, completely reimagined in electric form. We're gonna have more on this car. We're going to have more on Mercedes products. We're going to have more on all of IAA mobility throughout the week. So please subscribe to the Motor One US YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. And be sure to head over to MotorOne.com to get written stories on everything we're covering this week here in Germany. As always, thanks for watching.